you know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Doctor, I'll be there soon. Please. Talk to me now. I'm your sister. Yes. What's going on here? What is going on? Son, hey. talk to your father. Don't allow emotions to weigh you down when you are in father's house. What? Come on. Talk to me. Father, please what leave him alone. And I ask again, what is the meaning of this drama? My king! I don't understand. If he does not want to tell you what is eating him up, then let him be. And who asked for your impute? Have I not warned you to stay away from matters that concern me? Son. What will you do? Son. No, my king, wait. Go ahead and beat me up. Brother, Don't please, talk. Me. What will you do? Yes, no, 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 brother, son. Please, brother, Don't please. talk to your stepmom no. in that manner. And son. Let's go. Brother, please. Allow him to beat me up. No, no, no. Come on, let's go. Please, brother. Let's beat me up. Mom. Shut up. Shut up. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. I love them. Oh, we have to stop this all. The anger is too much. Only the wind in the fire. The anger is too much. See, what happened is that what just happened now. Okay, name it. Who are you asking in particular? I'm okay now, Joe. Huh? Who should I have asked? Is it not your department? Are you not coming from inside? Did you see him talk to the king or the stepmother? Did you? Sorry, sorry. I'm so good. Sorry, you. Ah. Simple question. Oh, look on so. Bonnie, na para, na para. This our prince has a lot of gods. I love such men. The way he gives Lolo her le uh, levels, they sweet meal. Mm -hmm. Did anybody ask for your impute? Come on, get out. <laughs> <laughs> With that is deep voice. <laughs> hey. but we don't even know actually what happened there. But the, the prince is pained. But wait to Is your ma Kenna? When was the last time Ijoma visited this palace? But as for me, I can't remember anything. This is totally unbelievable. Totally unbelievable. Really? So my husband, the king of this land, stood. Watching the Almighty First Son insults the Queen. Ah, the Almighty Prince insulting his stepmother. Yet, my husband, the King, couldn't even do anything. Mom, Brother Charles was not in his right frame of mind. Ignore him, please. You must be very stupid. Very, very stupid. What has been in the right frame of mind got to do with what happened out there? Did I say anything wrong? Mom, you shouldn't have uttered anything. Let's bury this issue. Oh, really? Because flogging it might result to another thing. Oh, really? In other words, I should have kept mute. Right? Look, go ahead and tell me. Right? And my husband, the king, is still not saying anything. What do you want me to say? Tina, I don't know what is wrong with my son. Until then, if I have anything to say, I will tell you. But for now, keep calm, please. What? With all due respect, my husband, did I hear you right? That I should keep calm? I am sorry to disappoint you. I will not keep calm. Charles has been on my neck in this palace, yet you've not said anything. This time around, I will follow him hot, hot. I will give it to him. This palace will be so uncomfortable for him. Trust me, there will be no peace for him. You know exactly what I can do. 
Excuse me. The anger is too much. On your girl went to the fire. The anger is too much. On your girl went to the fire. You know, she was. She was fine. She was responding to treatment when I. When I came here last night. What happened? Honestly, I, I don't know how to say this. There was a situation last night, and I was called. In fact, I, I left my house around 2 a.m. in the morning. We tried everything possible to resuscitate her. We couldn't. And, and, and she gave up. I'm, 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 so, I'm so, so sorry. I am sorry. I I know how you feel now. I, I understand. Please. Just hold yourself. Please. Father, I do not want you to start thinking about all these issues in this palace. Brother Charles has a character, so does my mom. I don't know why the both of them hate each other. I cannot see themselves as mother and child. I'm not worried. Don't bother yourself. I know something is behind it all. And I will tell you someday. So there is something behind this? I thought as much. But you are the king. If there is anything you can do to bring it under your control, please do, Father. Please. I will. Don't worry. I'll talk to my son. Thank you. Your mom was a very kind-hearted woman. Very lovely. For six months, she stayed here. She said a whole lot of things. We had wonderful conversation. She said deep things, good stories about you. She even made it very clear to me what really made her to leave the palace and even what transpired between her and the king. I, I don't... But I believe you won't feel very bad if I'm telling you this. Truth is that I did not spend enough uh, time with my mother. Except for when I was really young. before she left the palace. And I remember her constantly coming to check on me at the palace, because, you know, my father wouldn't let her take me. And I also have vivid memories of her coming to fight for me and protect me from my stepmother, who my father married and she started maltreating me. Ah, this breaks my heart. I, I understand. To be honest, you're a man. Uh, thank God she had you with the twins that came and took care of her. But my question is, these twins, are they from the king? I thought you said that um, you and my mother had some time to talk. Did she not tell you everything? Doctor, you would agree that this is not a good time for this kind of conversation, but um, what I can tell you is that the twins are my siblings. Please. Uh, now that I am still strong, Let me see my mother's body before we take her to the morgue. I honestly want you to have this in your mind. And with all sincerity, with all modesty, you and the twins came from the same lawyer. That was what your mother told me. But the only problem she has with you is that you so much believe in your father than her. Please, can I see my mother's body before she's... 
take her to the mortuary? Or have you moved her to the mortuary yet? Not really. But we know the twin brother came here and obliged for her body. And I had to. What? What you? You allowed him move my mother's body? Without my consent? I understand how you feel. He came in and, and paid the remaining balance. He said a lot of things that there is no need for us to keep her here. We need to move her to the mortuary. No, I'm sorry, doctor, but you're out, out of line. What bill did he pay? I brought my mother here. How can you grant that boy the, the authority to, to move my mother's body out of this place without talking to me? What is going on? What he is, your brother. He is your brother. I, I still believe what he has. I, I don't... He didn't act, act out of the law. He did exactly what he's supposed to do. He should, I don't think it's, it's going to be a problem. I don't see it to be a problem. Taking your mother's body to the mortuary to avoid decomposing is not an issue. And I think you should welcome such. You should have been for I'm so sorry. Call your brother, quickly. Why are you looking for Obina? What happened? Amaka, what's with the pretense? What is, what is this? Huh? Why do you sit there and act like you're not in on all of this? All of you, you, this old man seated here and your brother, stupidly connived to abduct my mother's body, moved her from the hospital where she died. Listen, I am going to have to arrest all of you. I am going to arrest each and every one of you for abducting my On what authority did all of you take that action? On what, what authority, what gave you the guts to think of moving my mother's body out of the hospital where she passed on and took her somewhere, somewhere? I can't find her body. And I'm here asking questions and you're acting all innocent? Call your brother, get him out! Charles! Did you just say your mother? Did I hear you correctly? Did you just say your mother? Oh, I get it. She's now your mother. When you abandoned her, when you abandoned her cause, she was never your mother. You lived all your life abroad without any care for her. Do you know how mama suffered? Do you know how she toyed with the sickness that took her life away? Of course you do not know. And you stand before me to insult Uncle Ume. Mama's only brother that sold everything he has just to make sure that your mother was well. And when you finally came back to your senses, you took her to the hospital, of course she died there. Is that what gave you the miserable gods to call me and ask for her body? I ask you, child, oh. oh, you call me miserable. <sighs> you address me as miserable, Amaka. You see the Kwagemma? Oh, I see that you have grown. Huh? Listen, the fact that my mother got you from that miserable drunk does not give you the right to stand in front of me and talk nonsense. Even if she got her from a drunk, is she not your sister? Mwanegi! It is the same cord that tied you in her womb. Tied her also in her womb. 
Well, there's no problem. You insulted me, but I don't bother. All I have to say is, leave my compound. Leave before the whole thing will turn to a different thing. Uh, hold on. I am going to leave. Clearly, it's not like I like it here. I have come because you all connived to abduct my mother's body. Where is my mother's body? Tell me where you have kept her body and I'll just leave. It's that simple. Um, um, listen, we will discuss this when your brother comes back. Amaka came back from the hospital this morning. Elizabeth died in her arms. She doesn't know where the corpse is as I speak to you now. So please, leave. We will discuss this as a family and uh, uh, get a solution to it. Charles, you had the guts to lay your filthy hands on your sister's face. Don't that will fire you. Your praise and arrogance can only end in the palace and not here. This is not listen very good. I know how I suffered. I know how I was hungry for the sake of Mama. I know what I passed through. I know how painful it is for Mama to die in my arms. Where were you? Where were you? Where were you, the so called first truth? Where were you, our mother's womb opener? Where were you? This morning, all you could do is to come here and slap your sister that lost her mother. Just what did I do to you? Tell me, what did I do wrong to you? It's okay. Amaka, you are going to tell that tout you call Obinna that I was here that I've come to demand that he takes my mother's cups back to the hospital's morgue where he moved it from. That is where I want it. Failure to do so, he is going to have serious issues with me and on Mandem. Do well to tell him that I was here. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. <sighs> into my father's compound, into your own compound, and insult my cousin. When I want to retaliate as a man, is he happier that he's a prince? You see, that we should let him be that he's a prince. Prince again, eh? eh? Prince who or prince who mother? Who does that? And then me, eh? And then me, eh? Hmm. Papa, what did Amaka do? He just drove in, not even to commiserate with his mother's family. But to start acting funny, I hate that guy with passion. His arrogance is overrated. How am I even related to that monster? All this is the king's fault. He made the prince to hate this family. But time shall tell. When I was spending my heart and money, calling him to, to, to send money that his mother was bedridden. Did he care? I personally went to, 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 to the king to tell him that his ex-wife 
need medical attention. But he asked me to get out of the palace. That I should never step my foot on that palace. Imagine. But I, never, I never did. I never did. Hmm? This boy don't know what he's doing to himself. Oh, 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 if he likes, eh, you should know what he's doing. If he likes, you should not. Oh, eh? see, I am my own. I am my own. I am my own. I am my own. I he will calm down. Prince, I am not going to say, 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 I am not going to Warrant such attitude you portrayed out there. Please, please, please. Not now, not today. I have, I have a lot on my mind. I'm not, I'm not in the space for all of this. I'm not, I'm not in the mood for this kind of talk, please. Brother. Will you be keeping away everything that is disturbing you? I saw tears dropping in your eyes this morning. Oh, shut up, love it. What is wrong with you? Are you out of your mind? Why can't you stay away from someone you call a brother but doesn't regard you as a sister? Why are you forcing yourself on him? Why? Mom? Shut up, I said. You are my daughter. And you must behave like your mother who doesn't give a hoot. About whose corn is popping. Don't start this fire you want to ignite. When it flames up, don't run away. I have told you, don't run away. Anger is too much. <laughs> Here again in pains. Look at the tears streaming from your eyes. My God, your mother, Queen Elizabeth, what happened to her? My mother is dead. Oh my God. Huh? So sorry about that. She has been in the hospital, and you just told me a few days ago that she's recovering. I'm so sorry about that one name. Ndo, please. I now understand the pains in your face. It's okay. Just put yourself together and be a man. Oh, Ndo. I'm so good. So. Sorry. Your Majesty. Uh, Ijama, have you 
Seen my son? Yes, Your Majesty. He's in his room. Sit down. Uh, did you discuss with him? No, Your Majesty. From the way he was behaving, I think something is wrong with him. He didn't talk to me. He just left to his room and said he wanted to be left alone. Uh, well, whatever. Um, uh, Ijama, listen. Both of you have come a long way. Both of you schooled in the same school overseas. So I believe by now uh, you must have learned each other. Uh, I don't know what he is waiting for. You are supposed to be married by this time. But that's not the problem. Uh, I want you to talk to him. Talk to him. The way he talks to his stepmother is not right. He should be mindful of the way he harasses the woman everywhere. It's not right. Talk to him. This morning I tried to find out why his mood suddenly changed and he couldn't talk to me. Could you imagine that? Your Majesty. Father! Father, there's a bad news. What's bad news? The prince's mother is dead. What? Yes. The prince's mother is dead? No. Just sit down, sit down. I remind you that my authority as a king extends beyond your room. And besides, you are not just talking to your father, you are talking to the king of Omona. As much as that is true, father, I do not wish to see or speak to you. At least, not now. Uh, that's not correct, son. I am not here to banter with you and they come here to talk to you. Dad, can you please, just please, please, please. I beg you, please, just stop. Quit the pretense. For I am sure that your daughter, Love, has already told you what happened. I know that deep down you are happy. So you can go ahead and marry. Rejoice, for your enemy is dead, finally. Just let me be. Oh. Because I'm the one that killed her, right? Or maybe I'm the one that sent the sickness that killed her. Mind your language, son. Oh, well, I am not here for all this. I am here to talk to you. To talk to me about what exactly, father? Now you want to talk? I remember when I returned from overseas, I begged you, dad, to talk to me. 
to show my mother mercy and call her back to the palace. But you refused and now you want to talk. And I say no. My mother is dead and... Father, my mother is dead and gone. Alright? Let me grieve. Let me tear with my pain. And I think that we should all just stand back and see what comes out of this. Oh, don't be stupid, son. You are talking to your father. Tell me what will come out of it. Could that be a threat or what? No. Let me warn you. Everything about her ends the day she walked out here. The only thing I had in common with her is you and not those twins that she had from her adulterous drunk. If you want to grieve, fine and good, but not here, not in my presence. You must really think that you're talking to a child. We are talking about my mother here. The woman who gave birth to me. You can go on and talk about her. But I said not here. Go to her father's house. This is the least thing I need to hear now. Enough, woman. Enough. It's just not her brother. I don't understand all this. Listen, this fire you are stoking in this palace, when it eventually burns, sure, it must surely consume you. Um, I don't want to say anything about Charles now. He's an adult. He has his life to live. When he is done mourning his mother, I will say something. Mom. <laughs> 